Undo Stress explores the treatment of daily stress by designing a suite of micro-interventions that can be quickly and effectively consumed in a variety of different contexts. We provide guidance to practitioners and designers who are interested in delivering technology-based stress-reducing skills to the general public. All types of stress have been associated with a variety of pathophysiological risks such as cardiovascular disease and immune deficiencies, which can dramatically impair the quality of life and shorten life expectancy. One of the benefits of using technology to detect stress is the possibility of triggering different interventions when needed. This work explores the design and evaluation of a suite of micro-interventions aimed at counteracting the effects of stress during daily life. Our micro-interventions can effectively reduce repetitive or anticipatory stress. Our micro-interventions effect sizes are similar to each other and to at least a proven non-technological intervention. We build four prototypes to explore the benefits of micro-interventions in the context of stress. We built a vibro-tactile bracelet with two vibrating motors used for guided breathing and acupressure. The first intervention is acupressure, where three pressure points are used both wrists and the sternum. Guided breathing. Gameplay, where users can play simple commercial games such as this maze app. Intimate social network, where people within the user's inner circle receive text notification to check in on them, whether it's a text message or a phone call. The study consisted of 20 users, where we applied two stressors and an anticipation phase. First is the strip word test, where participants must say the color shown instead of the text. Next, participants were asked to wait for an imminent math stressor. Finally, participants had to continuously subtract a number from a baseline. If they took too long or made a mistake, they had to start over. Phase 1 consists of six stages, arrival, calming, Stroop test, weight, math test, calming. In phase two, the same participants completed the same stages, but experienced three of the four interventions. And the results? The intimate social network support and guided breathing interventions yielded stronger, more uniform support. Subjective stress responses reflect well of the experiment design. Stressors and interventions have clear differences. Heart rate variability was picked up well from wearable interventions. Breathing was noticeably more effective. Electrodermal activity also found breathing as the most effective intervention. It also matched the subjective scores that favored the intimate social network intervention. Low and high frequency components of HRV show erroneous readings of arousal for breathing. It could lead to a misinterpretation of the quality of that intervention. Participants expressed a desire for more control on the type of interventions and for interventions they can perform well. Participants also recommended activities they already mastered and interventions that did not impose choices. Learning certain interventions, such as acupressure and guided breathing, could elicit certain levels of stress. Intimate social network messages had language that well represented humor or caring words. Design implications Mobile interventions can be used effectively for acute stress. Different interventions could be used at different times. Interventions could be triggered by users that feel the need for them, or triggered by a triage of psychophysiological sensors. Intervention choices depend on context. Duration and intensity should be adaptative. 